big challenge, but you know that's what we're here for is to face the challenge. The challenge has been to always race against the best of the best. To start off with the 12 R, it's a notoriously aggressive track to any team in any car. And we're going to go out there and, and, and get 110% out of everything we can out of those cars. Is there too much pressure? I don't think it's too much, but it's good to have the competitiveness around you. It's a big challenge to start off with, especially with the new car, but the 12 hours of Sebring is very special and a bit like Jaguar and racing, Sebring is history also. To go and, and compete at the top level in, in racing takes just an incredible amount of really talented people. You really have to have a car that's so well built that you can pound on it for 12 hours because the only way you're going to be successful in this sport is to have that kind of reliability. Accomplishment is the only reward here. We don't do this for monetary reward. We only do it for the sake of building things and winning. First, it takes the commitment from a manufacturer. If you're going to do it right, you got to have that commitment. I mean, there's so many things that, that come into play when you're building a new program, whether you've been there before or whether it's your first time. 12 hours of Sebring, it's, it's a real test. I mean, this is, this is where we as a team, as drivers, as a car, are going to feel what we need at Le Mans. So the best preparation for that, you can't think of a better place than Sebring. The combination of Jaguar and RSR, um, and Yokohama tires, you know, we've all come together and everybody has a little bit of a point to prove and, and Jaguar coming back into to racing this year obviously has a big statement to make. It's been 20 years since Jaguar's gone to Le Mans and it was time that we go back. Now, that sounds like a lot of fun, but it carries a huge responsibility because we have the burden of carrying the name of a champion and when you do that you have to perform like a champion. Oh, it's, it's great to be part of this program uh, especially you know with Jaguar going back to Le Mans uh, to the 24-hour race. I mean I've been there nine times so to be back there the 10th time with a manufacturer like Jaguar it's, it's, it's an honor. To go back to the biggest race in Europe I think is unbelievable and phenomenal and, and for me to be a part of it's exciting. I think it's fairly obvious when people see my smile whenever they mention the, the Jaguar brand and the fight that I'm affiliated with it. All you have to do as you go into the ACO Tower at Le Mans, you get off on the elevator on the third floor, the wall is covered by all the Le Mans winners. And from 53 to 57, Jag was the champion every year. And you look at all the great guys that drove those cars, and they really spanked some of the other big manufacturers, uh, including Ferrari, including Aston Martin, including uh, Mercedes-Benz. And then you go into the late 80s and early 90s in the, the prototype era, and there's again that same kind of repetitive competition in history. It's a special race. I mean, uh, it's one of those races where you can only, where you're only allowed three drivers. There's a lot of focus needed there. It, it gets very dark in France uh, at night. I, I experience, and you know, you, you have to stay focused. But you know, our lineup is very, very competitive. So, you know, I think we can handle that easily there. It's who can take all the best ingredients from their street car and, and turn them into a race car. Is who's going to be competitive? And you know, we know that the XKR is a great baseline and uh, we know that we have a great team and that we can make this car fast. There's no way to luck into competitive positions in GT2 in the ALMS series or at Le Mans. You have to have the tools, the resources, and the people. And if you have all of those three and you keep the objective in focus, you'll be competitive. I've only been there once and I've won it once, which is, which is great. And so now to go back with the mark of, of Jaguar is just over the top. We want to believe we can win every race. We know that's going to be difficult. Even to win one race is a difficult charge. What we have to do now is make a credible, competitive, reliable race car. Um, not necessarily an easy task. We'll get to that, and by mid-season, we'll be competing. I don't think there's any pressures now to, to win Sebring. You know, it's all a training ground to be as competitive as we can in Le Mans. And uh, we'll see how, how we do the second part of the season. You have to be realistic and have goals that's over the next 
two, three years, we're going to work our way and establish ourselves as that market on top. For us, I think look at the big picture, and the big picture is the future, and the big picture is Le Mans, and um, it's, uh, it definitely is throwing everybody in the fire, but other teams have done it, and I think we're up for the test.